in this match. Five minutes, three rounds, no head mask, no low blowing. Ground position, no kicking and no knee attacking above the neck. Don't stomping, okay? Free fight, free fight. Check out. Referee Daisuke Corner. Noguchi with the final instructions and a battle Corner. that could be a main Corner. event on many cards. Komi and Diaz. Judge, judge, judge. Ready? Diaz in the black trunks, Gomi, the superstar in the white and red, immediately goes for the takedown. Surprisingly, I expected Gomi to sort of try and line up his opponent for one of those line drive shots. Diaz working the double wrist lock, ma makes a mistake. Gomi almost goes right to the armbar counter. Now staying on top, raining down punches. Diaz looking to work on his guard and try and find some leeway for a submission. Gomi needs a breath. And needs, or Diaz needs a breath of air here. Gomi like a blanket all over him. Diaz finally took, got, got a little break that he needed because Gomi wants to bring it back to his feet. Nice pass by Gomi. Gomi behind the right hand, showing, uh, showing one and following with the other. Again, same tactic. Well, Diaz did not expect this. He is in immediate hot water. Diaz has to make an immediate adjustment. He's got to start moving. Right now, you see he's not moving his hips at all. He's just content to stay as a good reposition in the center of the ring. He's just content to lay on his back. He can't do that with a guy like Gomi. He's being reactionary. He's being reactionary. Exactly. He can't do that with a guy like Gomi. You have to get him off his offense. Well, Diaz is going to have to work to get out of this spot of bother. He has been wanting to get into pride for so long and prove that he belongs in this upper echelon of fighters. And I guess if he can extricate himself and win this fight, he'll prove a lot of people wrong. Diaz there working the closed guard makes me think that what he wants is he's going to pepper Gomi to get him to lift his head and then work some sort of armbar triangle like he's crawling up right there, getting his hips up. Good opportunity for both either an armbar or a triangle, but Gomi is posturing high, staying strong, and getting out of bad position. And if you remember, too, that Diaz is such a tall fighter that even though Gomi's sitting up, if he moves his head a little bit, he won't take as much punishment. He's taller than I am at 160 than I am at 183. Five inches difference. Diaz at 6'1", Gomi at 5'8", back on their feet. Gomi the southpaw. Let's see if Diaz is going to start staying outside the lead leg and throwing the straight hand. Well, actually, you don't mind the stay Oh, good right hand oh. by Diaz. Gomi continues on, but he's getting hurt. Oh, oh shot by Gomi. He's got to survive. Diaz has got to survive here. He's got to tie him up and keep him getting stung some more. Gomi wins the battle on the feet. Stuns Diaz and now trying to finish off the Californian on the mat. Nice pass by Gomi, staying behind, not looking to put hooks in, just punish his opponent. You know, this is a good position for Gomi. He needs to capitalize on that because on the feet, while he did knock him down, Diaz is the much more accurate and, and controlled fighter. Going again for the double wrist lock, looking for an arm bar, but it ain't gonna can't even come close this time. Uh, Gomi swings and misses there, and Diaz is lucky he did. There's a lot of trouble as you see him on top of the Rockstar logo. And that, that you have to understand as a fighter, you're looking for the perfect spot hey, to finish a guy. And right over there in that corner, as if we start him on the feet, right in that corner, it's very tacky, it's a very sticky mat there, so it keep Diaz from moving as much. Sure enough, Gomi needs to watch out for that distance, and Diaz being very nice in control, peppering and landing very accurate shots, trying to avoid the bombs. Gomi got definitely a power fighter. Bombs going both ways, Josh and Frank. Oh, good stepping by Nick, who's getting a little bit of trouble. He stepped in Ozzy Bylock and slowed Gomi down a little bit. Diaz needs to break off of this attack. Look, it's just a complete slobber knocker out there. What an amazing first round. People expected it to be something special, and it is. Oh, yeah. Gomi, is he fading? Is he just playing possum oh, against the ropes? Take his shots on the chin. Diaz oh, putting him down there, wobbling him. Gomi's hands down by his side. Diaz punching it well. That knee looked a little low, but Diaz really picking his opponent apart. Gomi's hands just dropped. Diaz has full reign over that head. And now Gomi comes back. One minute to go in the first oh round. Gomi letting, I don't. He doesn't see that hitting him hard. That's the problem is that Gomi's not getting hit hard enough to make him put his hands up. Oh, I'm, I'm waiting for no Gomi to snap. He's, no, he's not as pretty as uh, 
as uh, Mayweather here, but uh, if he can land that shot again and put Diaz down, he can get back right back in this fight. Oh, 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 nice hooks by Gomi. Uppercut by Diaz. They're where, just crushing each other. Where are Gomi's hands? Where is his defense? Hand on the rope. He's looking fatigued. Watch Taking for the more hook. shots behind the ear. Diaz could step back and take a roundhouse kick to the head and be wide open there. Yeah, I agree. Diaz has a decent kicking game. He should look for that. Gomi looking just for that bomb from left field. Oh, just about 10 seconds to go. Oh, what is this Gomi's doing here? He's, He's exhausted. Out Referee Noguchi looking in. Gomi's oh, exhausted. Gomi's exhausted. He's having a real tough time getting his breath back. It's going to be very interesting to see if he's got enough shape to recover in the exactly. time between rounds. You know what? His arms look like they're dead weight out there. At the end of that round, he went so hard. It was like, man, it was, it was like when the, uh, the Clippers were on that huge losing streak. Oh, Gomi. <laughs> Nothing but an air ball. Gomi cut Diaz to a deep cut over the left eye. But let's take a look. I mean, there were so many highlights from round one. As you can see here, Diaz is starting to pick him apart. Gomez is hitting big haymakers, but Nick is such a tough kid, he's starting to, he's starting to weather him. Early, Gomez didn't think Diaz was hitting him hard. Now watch up, you'll see here in a second, there's the kick. That, keep, that kept Gomez honest, I would say, is to realize that Nick's gonna use his feet. Comes back with that heavy right hand, it's incredible. Oh, just an amazing first round that swung 180 degrees. When we thought Gomi had control, Diaz finished almost winning the fight in the final seconds. Now the one thing I really like about Diaz right now is he's using his long length to stay just outside Gomi's punches, but just inside his distance. Very calm and very smart on Diaz's part. All right, in the red corner you see Takamori Gomi in trouble, in some distress, and why not? Diaz has to be full of fire beginning the second round. See, this is the thing about Diaz. He loves to fight. Fighting is in his spirit and his soul. He loves a battle like this. Oh, you know, Diaz, he'll take him, he'll give him. He just loves being out there, blood running down his face in the heat of battle. And this is exactly where he wants Gomi. He didn't have time to finish him in round one, but with only a minute between rounds, Gomi's still hurting, still in trouble. Diaz has over four and a half minutes now to finish him. He's going to be looking like, like a wet rag out there. Tired, still landing heavy shots though. Diaz got to make sure he doesn't get overconfident. That's my question there, you're right. As you notice, as soon as he got hit really hard, he found himself getting a little dangerous. Stepped in for that bear hug. Oh, look at the blood oh, wow. running off the You know, Diaz is in a great position to hit the German suplex here and maybe put Gomi on his back, which has been a real obstacle in his career yeah. and where he lost his fight. They are going to halt for a moment and check the cut. You now, saw the blood of Diaz running down the arm of Gomi. Now, here's the question for you. As a fighter, Josh, you're beating the guy up, okay? And then you get cut and you have to stop the fight for a cut, even though you're winning the fight. I mean, it is, it is bad. Gomi you know has him over his back. Diaz is all over his body. Right. What is... Here's what's going to happen. Diaz is going to come okay. out okay. like a man possessed. He's going to try and put this okay. fight hey, down up. and over. Fight! Oh, gee, that knee just is what put, forced Nick to step in. As you come back into live action right now, look at the cut on Nick's, on Nick's uh, underneath his right eye. But it's swelling. under the eye. If he can stay on his feet, he'll be okay. Exactly, but you know, I, I'm worried about that swelling and blocking his vision. Well, both eyes are cut one over, one under. And so Diaz has to work quickly, like you mentioned, Frank, or he'll be blind. And once your eyes start to swell shut, the rest get to step in for fighter safety to stop it. And, oh, and it, Gomi is trying to signal the referee, Daisuke Noguchi, that I can't fight this guy. He's hurt too badly. Well, well if that's the case, then Gomi needs to step inside, start banging him out. Yeah. The movie doesn't need this fight anymore. Exactly. Put him down. If you think this fight should be over, then finish it. And Gomi, you know what? Line okay. up that Tights. left, that left overhand, that left hook. He can't oh, see Gomi it coming. Shot. Nice double. That's what oh Gomi my wanted. Oh, he's got great to give a plot. And see how flexible Nick Diaz is? He's got Gomi in a whole world of trouble right here. He can oh, finish it up. Threw himself right in a bad position. Diaz locked that leg over, locked him in. It was snapped shut, and that fight was over for Takanori Gomi. Nick Diaz has just proved he deserves to be not only a fight for the championships, but ranked as one of the best 163 pounders in the world. The best light, one of the best lightweights now. So he needs to be put in the top five. He is absolutely was getting beat, came back, forced his will upon Takanori Gomi, and beat him.
Well, you know, my question here is, did Gobi train hard enough for this fight? Did he, did he take this fight too lightly? He did not look like he did, Josh. We mentioned it. Now here is round two. Oh, what an amazing fight. Great double leg takedown by Gobi. Very, I'm very impressed with the shot. But look how quickly Nick gets his leg over his face to put him into a go-go plata. Starts squeezing down, as you can tell, he's pushing his shit up into his throat and pulling his head down into his legs. Oh, Incredible man. transition. What a mental lapse by Gomi to get himself in that position. What a recover by Diaz to roll right through. Knew it, that it was Look coming. That. Laid it right in there, and at that point, Diaz was just looking for the finish. Once that leg came over, he knew he had this fight secured. Well, you've already said, you know, that the, one of the biggest problems that Josh had this conversation all the time, that Gomi, as you see him, as you saw him tap right there, he's always had a problem on the ground. He hasn't developed enough game on the ground. Exactly. He just tries to, he, he's used to overwhelming his guys, bombing on them from, you know, all the way out in Hiroshima, knocking guys down, staying on them, never giving them a chance to think. But a guy like Diaz, he just hung in there and said, you know what, my time's going to come. My time is going to come. And you know what, Gomi got sloppy, as he usually does, 